talk to me about Satan's role as accuser. What is that? He's a murderer and a liar. So he wants you dead. Now, one of the ways of getting you dead is judicially. So he will accuse you of doing wrong and accuse God of not doing right. So as to persuade you not to have your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, so as to have no faith in God and his kindness and mercy and grace, and to be overwhelmed with your sense of sin. Now, it's a pretty easy lie to tell because we all feel true. <laughs> yes, we all feel pretty guilty when we think about some things. And the best kind of lie, not that I want to tell you how to tell one, but the best kind of lie is got maximum truth yes, and yes. minimum error in it. And so he, he can say to you know, Philip Jensen, you really are a guilty, sinful person. Well, that's true. Yes. And you are beyond any possibility of forgiveness. You deserve God's condemnation. And there's truth in that, but no, Jesus has died for me. Yes. And you are beyond any redemption. Now, that's a lie. Right. So there's just a bit of a lie added to truth. Yeah. Yes. But yes. it's an accusatory lie that then becomes, I come into self-condemnation. And so you've got some people who are rejecting God with a high hand of, of dismissing God. You've got other people who are rejecting hand, uh, God and dismissing him because they are so overwhelmed with despair. I mean, there's no way. What I've done, there is no way back. Right. There is no hope for me. So I may as well forget about God because I am lost. Well, that's the devil yes. giving that lie. So one lie is God's not there and he doesn't care. Another lie is God is there and you're lost.